Hey guys, it's your favorite auntie. This is Dr. Simone versus Quad. Who's right? Who's wrong? Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Everything in this video is my opinion. It is all alleged and it's just for entertainment purposes. And I just wanted to warn you that if you are easily triggered by differences of opinion, then this just may not be the video for you. But if you're open and you're receptive to a difference of opinion and you don't mind uh, com commenting down below, hey, this is my opinion, it's maybe different from mine, then, you know, I think this is the video for you. So we've got to get into the Dr. Simone and Quad beef. There were a lot of people on social media that had a, a lot of opinions about this. And so I just really want to lay out uh, Quad's side of it. I also want to lay out Dr. Simone's side of it. And then you guys tell me in the comments, you know, what's your opinion about um, what happened on stage with them at the reunion? So this season, if you were keeping up with Married to Medicine, you saw that a lot of the ladies took issues with the fact that Quad was not really a friend to them. They felt like she should have been in contact with them before filming started. Now, let me just say this. A lot of people had issues with that beef because people felt like, hey, you guys are just co-workers. Why does it matter? If Quad is just there for a check, who cares? Show up and get your check. But let's look at it from this point of view. Imagine if you're filming a reality show and everyone else is in contact with one another before filming starts. Because you got to have a rapport in order to be able to get on camera and film or it's just fake. So if you look at it from that perspective, then it kind of makes sense as to why they all were in their feelings about the fact that Quad only shows up when it's time for filming. Now, if you look at it from Quad's point of view, she's like, these are not my friends. The people that you see her on her trips with to Africa, to Dubai, to wherever she's traveling to, those are her real friends. And I feel like Quad is not interested in having a fake friendship with them. So she doesn't want to socialize with them outside of filming. She just wants to show up. She wants to get paid and she wants to be done with it because she can turn it on and off. Apparently, the ladies can't turn it on and off. So now that brings us to the Married to Medicine reunion where Dr. Simone was very vocal in expressing to Quad that she feels like Quad is not a friend and that friendship is not just about filming. It is about what happens when the cameras aren't rolling. So she was very passionate when she spoke. And when I say passionate, we all know Dr. Simone was loud. <laughs> she was extremely loud. With that being said, Simone, Dr. Simone, because I just always want to be respectful about that. Dr. Simone just was trying to get her point across, in my opinion, that whenever filming is taking place, of course, Quad shows up. Now, there was some talks that uh, Quad is late and she's kind of a diva on set. Now, we don't know because we're not there. So they had that issue with her. And then I think it had came up and this is. Dr. Heavenly, I think she said this on her podcast when she had Carlos King on there. You know, they talk every Monday, they do whatever that she calls it, Heavenly's Monday. Well, I remember Dr. Heavenly had mentioned that one of the producers of the show had told them that Quad was basically talking about them. She didn't care for any of them. She was just there because, you know, she's just trying to get her money and that she was holding out on stating whether or not she was even going to sign her contract because apparently she was trying to get paid more than the other ladies and it all got back to them. So I think the beef really started even before filming started. I think it's bigger than just quad stating to them, I'm just here for my check. I think a lot of it had to do with, oh, how dare you try to hold out, and not sign your contract because you want more money when they feel like, well, what do you do? What do you bring into the table that provide that where you should get paid more than we should get paid? We are married to medicine. That's what I think the real issue is. So we fast forward, we come to the reunion. 
Dr. Simone's telling Qua that you're not a real friend. She's saying, I can name times where I've shown up for you where we're not filming. And I've been a friend to you. But can you name a time where you've shown up for me when we're not filming and been a friend to me? There were a lot of people that were in the comments on different blogs stating that, well, Quad was there for you when you were looking for your father. But then to Dr. Simone's point, she said, well, we were filming. I said, name a time where she was there for me when we weren't filming. And then she brought up as of recent when the tragedy happened at your house. We were not cool. We were not friends. And I still showed up for you. Now, we saw Quad look at Simone and say, Simone. But then Andy said, what happened at her house? Now, come on, Andy. You mean to tell me you didn't know what tragic event happened at Quad's house? Of course, Andy knew about that, but he wanted Simone to bring it up. So I think that Quad did signal to Simone that I don't want to go there. I don't want to talk about it. Now, I will say this. I don't know this to be a fact or to be, you know, this is my own theory. Two things could have happened here. Simone could have heard her and decided, no, we're going to talk about it because we're on a reality show and we can't hide behind what we do want to talk about and what we don't want to talk about. Just like Dr. Jackie had to sit in her situation and Dr. Jackie cried, but she sat in that situation and they had to talk about it. So Simone could have felt like, no, we're going to talk about it. Or Simone could have not heard Quad calling her name or didn't think that Quad was calling her name for her to stop talking about it. You know, sometimes when Dr. Simone talks, she gets loud and, you know, we know that they can turn the mic up with editing. There's a possibility that Simone, Dr. Simone did not hear quiet. We don't know that for a fact we heard it, but we don't know if she heard it, didn't care and said it anyway. That could have easily been what happened. What my opinion is, what do I think? I think that Dr. Simone did hear Quad and decided that she was going to discuss it because it happened and they needed to talk about it. She wanted to give that as an example that I showed up for you when something tragic happened in your life. I was there for you. We were not friends. We were not speaking, but yet I still reached out to you. I called you. Now, a lot of people were upset about that. They could not believe that and they wanted Dr. Simone canceled because of that. Now, let's look on the flip side of it. Let's take Quad's perspective. So Quad obviously did not want that discussed and did not want to go there because she didn't want to have to sit in her feelings of what happened to her, which is understandable. That's a tragic event. And she did not want to have to relive that and show those type of emotions on stage. But at that time, Quad did not say anything to Simone about it. If anything, she validated what Dr. Simone said. She said, yes, you were there for me. You called me. You were, you know, I think she said, might have said sending flowers. You were absolutely there for me and I appreciate it. But now that the reunion has aired, Quad is obviously upset and saying that production is wrong for that. So I think that maybe Quad feels like production told Simone to br- Dr. Simone to bring that up. That's a possibility as well. But there were a lot of people that were upset with Dr. Simone for continuing to have that conversation, continuing to mention that, mention that, although she had the signal from Quad stating that, hey, I'm calling your name because I don't want you to go there. Um, and so I do think that because that, that topic was ultra sensitive, that if I were in Simone's shoes, I think what I would have probably said was, you know, I was there for you at, you know, times where not only when you got divorced, but even just recent events that have occurred in your life, I've been there and left it at that. Now, they're on a reality show, so obviously Andy's going to try to get her to open up and say more about it, but you can decline that, and you can be like, I'm just not going to go further into that. She could discuss it if she wants. It's her story to tell. I think that would have probably been the more appropriate thing to do. So you guys let me know down in the comments, what's your thoughts about it? I know that's been a heavy, heavy, heavy topic. Do you think Dr. Simone should be canceled now because of what she said? I personally don't. I I like Dr. Simone on the show. I do think there's some, there's some lines that have been crossed that maybe, you know, just have 
overstepped. I wouldn't say lines of the cross. I would say she overstepped her overstepped her boundary on this one, just talking a little too much and should have been respectful, especially when she saw how Quad broke down. And I appreciate Phaedra, you know, supporting Quad in that moment, even though they had just had their strife, that Phaedra could put that aside and support her. Now, we don't know how the editing was. We don't know if Dr. Simone went over there. We don't know. But what we do know is that it appeared in the editing of it all that there was no compassion from Dr. Simone's side towards Quad. I don't want to see Quad off of Married to Medicine. I also don't want to see Dr. Simone off of Married to Medicine. I don't want to see Dr. Jackie off of Married to Medicine, nor Dr. Heavenly. Now, Sweet Tea, I think she's a great girl. I just don't know that this is the show for her because I don't think that she could handle the show. If she could handle the show, I like her on the show. Um, I've said, as far as Phaedra was concerned, that I thought Phaedra would be a better fit for Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I don't want to see Phaedra come back to Married to Medicine. Um, That's my opinion. So you guys let me know what your opinion is um, about the debate between the two of them. Do you think that how should how should married to medicine move forward what would you like to see going forward with the show and do you plan to continue to watch the show if it comes back next season that's all i have for this video be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel